So the first day before I even got here, I was like reading dictionaries, trying to learn a lot of vocabularies, and it was, um, I don't think I could have done it. It was really hard because I wasn't motivated to like really learn English like that, and it wasn't the best way to learn English, especially if you have everyone speaking French around you. So I'm like, let's just win, and when we get there, we'll figure it out. And then the first day I walk in CHS, and there were people eating in the cafeteria, and all of them, almost all of them had laptops. And they were just typing all, like so focused on typing. And I'm like, we don't have that in Africa. I've never used laptops. Even we're not even allowed to have, I was in the Catholic school, we're not even allowed to have our phones there. So everything was on paper. So I wasn't used, I had like a computer science course, but it wasn't really, we we're just playing games. So I never knew how to, I didn't even know what Google uh, Word or Google Doc or Google <laughs> Slide, whatever it was. So I had no idea. So I saw them like, working all focused on their laptop. I mean, I've seen it on TV, but I didn't know it was that intense and everything has to be done on the laptop. You have to turn stuff on the laptop. So I had no idea. So that first impre uh, impression was already overwhelming to me. And I started like just shaking while I was walking to the office to talk to Mr. Hall. And, and then I had to take a test and they gave me like a math equation to solve, which was pretty straightforward. Math, math is like a universal language. And then um, I was like, yeah, that's fine. And then I think Mr. All was talking in English as well. I couldn't understand anything he was saying. I think my dad was translating. My dad was there, so he was translating. I'm like, yeah, you guys figure it out. And then, <laughs> and then Ms. Rosario came in and then they said something I don't remember. And, and they were like, okay, you're gonna say ninth grade. I'm like, what does that mean? What's ninth grade? I never know what that means. And then I went and my dad translated and was like, okay, that's like first year OVC, which is like um, high school, if you want to translate it in, uh, in English. And I was like, but I'm not, that's not my grade. I'm supposed to be in 10th grade. <laughs> and so that, that was already, I was already mad by, by that. <laughs> and then, so that took me like a year to like come to, to the fact that it was a good decision for me. I had to learn English. And then I realized, okay, I also want to go to college. I also want to take SATs and ACTs and everything. So um, so then I'm like, okay, then that's fine. Like spend a year like behind and then learn the language. It's not, it's not a big deal because if you want to meet your goal, you have to make a few sacrifices. And that was like one sacrifice that I had to make. And thank you to for Ms. Rosario <laughs> for like, making me do that, I think. Um, I think for me, uh, I remember coming in with um, already goals in mind. I was like, okay, like I'm going to study, I'm excited. And I got there and Mrs. Rosado, Greeny, and my brother, I think. Um, and it, it, it was great. And then Olivia gave me the tour to the cafeteria. I was like, I don't think I can do this. Like it's like, it, we, it was just so overwhelming, not just about uh, the school itself, but like the culture, like everyone is different, everyone looks different than you. Um, you're just intimidated by what you see. And the first class we went to was Mr. Ganyu's class. Um, and he he was so nice, but unfortunately I couldn't understand anything he was saying. So um, for me it was a, I went home honestly just crying, like a mixture of feeling overwhelmed by what I saw and what I had to encounter. I mean, and also like being like in a math class, math was my favorite subject and not being able to really understand the problems. Although I know I can pretty much do algebra, but like, but you can't understand the English aspect of things. And so it was like the frustration, the like, um, and just feeling like you're not good enough, feeling like you are not smart. Although like when I was in Congo, I was at the top of my class. So it was, you felt like the bottom, um, the bottom of everything. And so from there, it only takes certain people to really be there and show you that this is not who you are. It's a stage and hold my hand and say, let's go. And I believe like 100% Mr. Rosado was that person for me because as a kid, you can't, you're trying to figure out life yourself and so you can't really, you know, pick yourself up, it's rough. And so having that person who can hold your hands throughout, 
that the whole process, the overwhelming aspect of everything, um, really makes a difference. The first thing I thought that really helped me, like just get started with the language, was Rosario Still Stone the program? Yeah. <laughs> I, thought it was Mrs. I thought it, it was, was Mrs. Rila Rosario's company. <laughs> I, I swear, I swear, I thought that was just me. I yeah. really thought it was Mrs. Rosario's yeah, company. Yeah, I thought too. she created that program until yeah. like. Until it took like, me a few no, years to actually realize, like, oh, it's not actually Mrs. Rosario. It's like a thing in the US, every, a lot of yeah. people follow. <laughs> so that was like a really a huge, huge help for me. Like the first thing, and I hope you're still giving it to like newcomers going yeah. through it and then having them like just grind it through, grind through it. <laughs> because like every single day after school, my, my goal was to get it done in like one month. It was a lot. It was a lot. I'm not going to lie. But yeah. I, uh, at some point, it gets like super easy because now you're starting to understand what they're saying, what what um, what everything means, and it's like it goes like super quickly. And then now you're like actually trying to play games with it. It's yeah. it's like it becomes exciting, <laughs> and that kind of helped me like be able to have like a few social interaction with people. Like that first program, I'm, and I'm not saying like it helped me like. You know, like I was able to say everything and understand everything and like proficient in English, but I was able to say like good morning or go and even ask like a simple question I could do that with just that 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 simple thing like reserve to a stone. So that was like the first thing. And then the second thing was Miss Ozaru helping me with like um making connection with teachers, presenting me to other students that are already speaking, like Tomi Moali, that are already speaking the language and that could like translate go with me in like different classes and even introducing me to miss mrs basson and mm -hmm. and madame loise who was also really helpful for in ess um science if i'm pronouncing it right it's been a few years mm -hmm. um helping me translate um the lab um, manual we call it lab manual at UVM, but lab, the lab procedure and how to go through the lab and understand the different concepts so i thought those were a few things that were super helpful i call myself the ipad girl because <laughs> back in the day it was yeah so for me the first thing it was like carrying that ipod around yes i did the result of and everything but carrying that around um and really it helped me to understand what's going on in class but also uh I, like to interact with um my classmates as well and my teachers um i think also like the proactivity of the teachers like i would say like someone like Mrs. Albright, like we were doing Midsummer Night's Dream and like she knew I won't understand the straight up Shakespeare. So thank <laughs> you for that. And so she already got me a book. Like that translates the that translates it to uh, basic English so I can be able to understand. And so that was really, really extremely helpful. Um, and just the teachers really like having different activities in classrooms that kind of isn't necessarily a lot of like a lecture but something that allows you to kind of see what they're talking about like in uh, Mr. Garnier about the I think was it the revolution and we had like a a whole like thing in class like that really helped like those different activities because it sticks um, the point of teaching is for it to stick and those activities really help students remember that oh like when i think of this war this is what i think about when i think about this subject this is what i th think about because of that activity um so yeah so i see a mixture of all of those things i'm also going to add to that um i think also having the snacks in yeah. the classroom <laughs> yeah. was super helpful because you don't want to be you don't want to be struggling with school work I'm yeah. like, I'm, I'm really hungry, hungry. I'm hungry and everything. So I thought like having this snack was something also a perk to yeah. the way. Yeah. <laughs> so it was really cool. I feel yeah. like I have to mention that as well. I just finished my last final, which was surprisingly a French exam, but I'm excited. Yeah, <laughs> yeah I'm excited. Was Madame Blazo. <laughs> I'm excited to have completed completed it. It was a it was a struggle in the class. It was a little challenging because I haven't written French for like since I left CHS, which yeah. was since I finished my last French class, which was sophomore year. So I haven't written, I haven't practiced. I, I can speak it, but like I haven't written anything in French. So I was really excited to finish it. I mean, I got a really good grade in the class, but 
I was just glad. I'm glad that I finished yes. the, my final. So I'm graduating um, next week from UVM with a, with a bachelor in electrical engineering and a concentration in semiconductor engineering. So oh, that's very exciting. Okay. Yeah, now wow. I can now I can <laughs> now I can actually write software to do stuff like yes. that most a lot of people can do. So I'm really proud for that. So it's like bring it on. I'm really grateful <laughs> for that. So that's that's one thing. And then I recently also accepted an offer at Global Foundries to work as an equipment engineer. And I might be a uh, uh, what is it called uh, a process engineer. I'm not sure. So between those two, equipment mm -hmm. or process engineer. So I'm starting in August. So that's what I've been up to. And I uh, interned for them for about three years. And among those three years, I also interned for Agile Technology for an electrical engineering position where I was building PCB boards and also troubleshooting and doing a lot of dirt testing and stuff over the summer. So that's. That's, that's a few things that I've been up to. I would say before I even uh, get to that, um, like I think for me the foundation honestly started like in eighth grade, like the Sister Colchester uh, schools. And so all the teachers, Mrs. Rosado, Mrs. Batson, Mr. Gagne, uh, Mrs. Albright, and without forgetting um, Miss Hughes and Deja, uh, uh, I mean, Dela and Miss Hall as well. Um, I I think for me, uh, yeah. So I did go to UVM right after uh, CHS, and so the AP classes there really prepared me, like for the writing component. Uh, like you really had to be in a certain level writing wise. So shout out to our English teachers for for those. Um, and so I did biochemistry uh, at UVM. I uh, got my mas my bachelor 2022 uh, and then I did my master's right after. I also did a breast cancer research and my master was in pharmacology, got it 2023. Um, and during school I was interning with uh, Agilent Technologies, which is one of the big dogs in the industry of biotech. It's huge. Um, and now I uh, work for Genscript, which is also one of like, the big biotech companies. And I'm a sales account manager. Uh, and yeah, and so I'm excited to be um, like moving in Ohio and uh, continuing my career. But overall, just keep uh, making the difference um, and keep uh, just sharing what like a good educational system can do for a student um it's not just about the the now for your students about their futures uh and you can see from both of us that it really has made a huge difference so yes it's a little bit extra work to um you know help and add in all those activities or different get to really know your students on ways you can uh, you can help them uh, better than English, but it really makes a, a difference when we get to sit here and talk about our teachers and, and being grateful for where we are in life. So thank you CHS and um, yeah, I hope this class just gives you more perspective of what to do to continue making that difference for your students. I just want to say thank you. They all helped me a lot with preparing for college and especially with the language i didn't really have any problem with the language after i left chs yeah. i mean i i um there were a few things that i didn't know but those are um, i figured like they come with time and i was patient enough to like learn through them and yeah. i'm really grateful to have been a chs